This morning, our Zach Lajway is here to show us how human trafficking impacts our community in ways you may not realize. And he's also going to focus on how we can all help stop trafficking and protect our children at their most vulnerable times. In Houston, you can literally dial up and order a child, have them delivered to your hotel room as easily as you can a pizza. For the person who says human trafficking does not impact me, what would you say to them? I would say that you bump up against it all the time at sporting events, at concerts, at the rodeo. There are people there being trafficked. Carrie Taylor, executive director with Unbound Now Houston, a network that supports survivors, says victims are often children. So I'm here to tell you what to look out for and how you can stop it from happening. If you have a toddler or a child, you need to pay attention to their behavior around other people. Are they happy? or are they upset? Make sure to teach them the biological names of body parts. Do not force them to hug or kiss family members. Give them agency over their own body. Same applies to if you have a preteen or teenager, but also note, are they suddenly in possession of luxury items? Are they using multiple phones or social media accounts? These all could be red flags. And don't be afraid to call the human trafficking hotline at one 373 7888 You can remain anonymous. Save that number in your phone as a contact. But remember, if you're dealing with an emergency, call 911. About 76% of victims are female. But you gotta think about what that means. Almost a quarter of them are male, and we're not very good at seeing them, not very good at identifying. There's not very many services for them. Why I is that? Well, because we, we primarily think of it as a, a girl's problem. And so we really need to kind of shift our paradigm, open our eyes to be looking for boys who can be victimized as well. People can be trafficked even while they're attending school. And this is what happened to one Fort Bend County girl who is now an adult. Coming up in the next half hour, we will introduce you to her, a survivor who's working to make change for people and children being trafficked. Her message to parents in keeping your children safe. Her story is remarkable. You do not want to miss it. We need to hear more of this. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Right. Thank you so much, Zach.